Hi everyone, it's Julie Tutoring here. Today we're going to be looking at the integral for cosine squared x times tan cubed x. And before we get started, I just want to give everyone a reminder of an identity that you should be familiar with, which is sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, as well as tan x is equal to sine x over cosine x. We are going to be using these two identities to be able to solve this integral, so it's important that we know what they are. Okay, so let's get started. So our first step here is going to be taking tan cubed x and subbing in for tan cubed x. So we're going to sub in sine cubed x over cosine cubed x. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we do we did this, I'm going to rewrite sine cubed x as sine x times sine squared x, and I'm going to rewrite cosine cubed x as cosine times cosine cubed, cosine squared x, sorry. So let's do that. Okay, so now that we've done this, we can see that we can cancel cosine squared x from the numerator and the denominator, so that cancels out. So now we are left with, oops, sorry. Now we are left with sine x times sine squared x divided by cosine x. Okay, so we can't really substitute anything for sine x or cosine x, but if we look back into the identity that I wrote at the beginning of the video here, we can rearrange this to isolate for sine squared x, and then we can sub that in to our integral. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, and if I rearrange it for sine squared x, I get that sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cosine squared x. And now I'm going to sub that in. Okay, so sine x times 1 minus cosine squared x, all divided by cosine x dx. And now at this point, I'm going to want to make a u substitution. So I'm going to set u equal to cosine x. And if I take the derivative of both sides, I get that du is equal to negative sine x dx. Isolating for dx, I get that it's equal to du divided by sine x. Okay, so now I'm going to substitute this in for dx. Doing this, I get sine x times 1 minus u squared divided by u, du divided by negative sine x. So I can take this negative and put it outside the integral, which is what I'm going to do. And then I can also cross out my sine x because it cancels. Okay, so now we're left with negative 1 minus u squared divided by u, du. I can simplify this a bit by writing it as 1 divided by u minus u squared over u. And then I can simplify that a bit more by writing it as 1 over u minus u. Okay, so now that I've gotten to this point, I am ready to go and evaluate my integral. So when I do that, I get ln absolute value of u minus u squared over 2. Okay, so I can distribute my negative 1 now. So I get negative ln absolute value of u plus u squared over 2 plus c. Can't forget plus c. And now what I want to do for my final step is I want to go and substitute back in for u. 
If we scroll up a bit, we can see that u is equal to cosine x. So that's what we notice a back in for. So we get negative ln absolute value of cosine x plus cosine squared x over 2 plus c. And that is our answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe and feel free to check out the rest of my integral playlist. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Bye.